Hello comrades, welcome to a new Severna Republic again. I think this is uh, literally the third time I've tried to start a series, uh, but I just keep on playing the game and not stopping to make videos at the correct stages, and it all gets messed up, um, and it's really hard to then go back over and sort of select all what you, where, you know, when you've just got a folder just full of... Um, video recordings and audio record and i just oh I, I i just can't face it so what i'm going to try and do is do st you know do no more than a year in game at a time um so we've got a natural start and stop point each year i'm really going to try and do this i'm really sorry that i keep on doing this and they're not getting it and too much happens between videos um but as i'm wanting to be really methodical with the game this time i'm really hoping that i can stick to it so my goal with um, Works and Resources Soviet Republic is always been to get over 250,000 population with an efficient, well-presented and well-organized republic whilst keeping it as realistic as I can. The highest population I think that I've ever got to uh, was around 300,000, but this was way back in the when, when the game had a lot less features, there wasn't... Um, waste management there was a, the distribution um hubs hadn't been brought in yet so there wasn't as many vehicles and i think the importing used to be a lot cheaper and the um, money you would get for exports used to be a lot higher so now achieving that with those game settings in place is a lot more difficult than it used to be and since then i've not been able to reach that I've only been able to get to around 150 to 200,000 mark before my computer performance really begins to struggle and the Republic starts to have issues with distribution of vital products and services like waste collection becoming unmanageable, just too much. Um, so just to let you know what I'm working with, on screen is my PC spec and also it's either a testament to living a very sad life or being very dedicated but my time uh, spent building Republics is there. Uh, so it's 6,104 hours, which is 254 days or eight months or 36 weeks, which whichever number you use and denomination we use there, it, that seems like a long, uh, way too long. But yeah, this has been since uh, I think it was 2019 that this game was released and it is my favorite game. Um, so I've got, so I've got quite a bit of experience with the game. I've, been with it since it was i mean i think it's still in early release isn't it it's not technically been or has it not anyway but I, I bought this game almost as soon as it was released because it was just well up my street and at the get at the uh time i was playing uh city skylines which I, I you know it used to be my favorite game but since playing this it you know it, soviet republic is just so much more rewarding because it's so much harder i think um, so with my PC specs as well, if I do upgrade anything, um, I will note this uh, in a later video, but I doubt anything major will change um, because I've only recently upgraded my graphics card. So it will stay like this for the foreseeable. So uh, now let's get into the actual game and I'll show you what my starting conditions are. So now on to the start game settings. So I have money mine set on easy because I do build a lot at the start to make sure that um, I've got a basic area um, and the most fundamental things for the, st the Republic. So you've got a good seat and a good base for the rest of the game. But then once my construction industry is, uh, is built, I then build most buildings um myself or you know domestically using uh national resources um up until then um i do use um auto build but i will use auto build throughout the game for roads and things like pipes and because i did i just find that it takes so long and connecting the, making sure to go back to the road once one section is built to build the next section and the next I just find that that I, I I lose track of that, but you'll see anyway. You'll see how I how I play the game, and you've obviously 
uh, some of you that are my very loyal subscribers, and there's not many of you, but um, makes you all, all the more special. Um, you will see that on my other videos, you know, I, I do build nice republics. Um, so um, we've got the realistic mode is disabled because I'm not a masochist. Um, we've got the citizen reaction on reasonable. So, you know, they won't go too mad, but also they're not too um, placid. They're not too, you know, they don't put up with a lot. We've got the energy management, we've got buildings and vehicles because it's, it's one of the funnest aspects of the game. We've got water management enabled, waste management enabled, but not demolition because I, I, I'm not brave enough to try that just yet. Um, we've got waste management, maintenance is enabled, we've got the seasons also enabled as well building fires set to normal global events set on serious because i think the earthquakes are cool they add a, you know a new aspect to the game um pollution is enabled education complex crime and justice enabled traffic simulation as complex researches i have not done because i do like to build an oil industry uh, just to get some revenue coming in straight from the start got the day night cycle uh, set up and vehicle availability is locked according to year, so um, we won't get any of the new vehicles earlier on in the game. But also, they won't vehicles that I do quite like. I don't like it when I can no longer buy them. So I've got it locked according to year, but then once they've been invented, they will stick around then. And we've got the starting time, starting year as 1960. So here's a map of Saverna. So you see, it's a complete island map, so there's no physical... Um, land borders with the west or the east we've got the little inlet there and the main part of the city that I've started to build there is in the northwest I guess quadrant of the island and I plan to build south on that um, I like islands because I just think it, it just gives you defined borders and obviously as you can tell by my accent I live on an island so I think it just comes just naturally to me so yeah that's uh, that's the island that's Saverna so Savannah Island, um, it's just a bit of world building. It's located in the North Sea, um, in between Norway and the United Kingdom. But it's an entirely um, uninhabited island up until the 1960s, when a small group of people from different European countries all decide that they've had enough of capitalism. So they all decide to pack their bags and move on to a deserted island in the middle of the sea so okay so um first things first I want to get into the game um i'll show you so the first thing that i do when i start a new game once i've uh, created the landscape and made it look all pretty and made sure that i've got the things that i need going forward uh, i usually do a grid at around eight to nine hundred meters square and fill that with smaller squares that are around two to 300 meters so you've got your walking distance of your citizens there so if you keep that, those grids be strategic where you put your bus stations and things you do get a little bit of extra walking distance from one bus stop to another bus stop or a train station or tram station or um, any kind of um, passenger station um, but they will only do that once they will only go from one station to another unless they get on a vehicle and then obviously you can go to multiple ones but that is usually the basis of the grid system that I work off and I try and keep within that because it stops you building big Goliath districts that become unmanageable once your population gets too high on there. Um, so this is basic, the basic formula for my republics will always start with this little cell and then I will add the different industries and things onto that. So just as an introduction that is all of part one. In part two, I will show you what I do before I've even had any citizens arrive on the island to make sure that I've got them all set up in good stead for hopefully a efficient, long living and beautiful republic. And um, please like and subscribe to let me know that this is something that people are interested in. This is a short, probably one of the shorter videos that I will do, but I just wanted to get the initial setup out there and done because then that will mean that I will have to then do a, a part two instead of keeping on 
editing videos, making longer, making it longer and longer and longer until my ADHD gets the better of me and I just lose interest. Um, so I will try and keep my videos to around 10 to 15 minutes in length. Um, so in the next video, I will be, like I say, just discussing what I lay down before I've even started um, inviting citizens to the island. So please do check back for part two, which will be around in the next 24 hours. So don't worry, I won't leave you waiting too long. So I already know what I'm going to do for it. And I do kind of already have it, had it, have it all set up. So please bear with me. Uh, please, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the game, I'm a lot better at responding to questions than thinking what people will want to know. Um, I tend to gloss over a lot of things but please if you have any questions about what I do what strategies I employ or just basic questions about the game or how it behaves please 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 write in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can I will try and answer all questions and um, that are presented um, in the comments section uh, so thank you very much for your time today I hope you have a great day whatever you're doing and uh, I'll see you next time over and out